What's that sound? It's the sound of a quote. Stupid high surplus of 50 series cards coming soon. As if on cue, EK announces water blocks for the 50 series cards. Benchmarks for the 5070 and 5070 Ti are in. Big week of news for Nvidia, but AMD is only warming up. We're just weeks out from the RX launch and more details are trickling in. You're watching MetaPC's news. I'm Zachary and I'm here so that you don't have to read things. Let's get into it. Well, overlaying footage of subway surfers so you don't leave because your brain has been rotted by the internet. Look at him go. Let's get into it. You guys remember EK? Everyone, are people still mad at EK or are we happy with EK now? Do you believe in redemption? I do believe in redemption. Do you believe in redemption? Well, let's find out if redemption is possible or not. You know, this GeForce launch of the new 50 series cards has, uh, has been very interesting. There was no announcement from EK, since they're doing a little bit of restructuring. This has clearly pushed the development of their blocks, which appeared a month and a half after the 50 series official announcement, which is much later than previous releases. What are we talking about? Water blocks, baby. This is the EK Quantum Vector 3 series. So this is for 5080 and 5090 cards. If you're looking to water block these beefy, beefy boys. These are some of your favorites. You guys love these cards. The Founders Edition card. <gasps> A very popular one. That is a very hot card. A very, <laughs> now Phil's getting silly with it. ROG Astral, those Astral cards, beautiful. Yes. Held one the other day. Oh, I think I dropped it. Oh my God. It should be a shame if we played the footage. All the Astrals, Tufts, and then the Gigabyte, Wind Force and Eagle, GeForce, RTX 5090 cards, and of course, MSI. Well, let's take a look at this Vector 3. Look at that. Look at the corners, the crisp corners and design. Overall, what we've seen is our quality has been pretty good. The one thing that has kind of sucked is some of the turbulence that EK has seen as a company. So looking at the pricing here, um, pretty standard for what you're gonna see for some of these water blocks for the cards when it comes to EK. So it really comes down to, are you going to give EK another shot? And I'll let you guys answer the question for that. Let's do some conversion here. Let's do some math. 289 gyros? Oh, oh, euro. Oh. I'm, I'm so sorry. What is that in uh, American freedom dollars? It's about 301 dollars. 301 freedom dollars? That's a lot. But that's kind of standard for what you'll pay for it. EK making that is very interesting, but the supply is definitely the more interesting topic here. And we're gonna get into this because apparently, now this is a rumor, and if it's true, please be true, RTX 5090 supply is to be stupidly high. Now this is from a leaker, sometimes you leak all over the place and none of it's true. So let's take this with a grain of salt, but we like to talk about spicy rumors, so let's get into it. Nvidia's Black World Data Center demand dip could mean scalpers have to take a loss. Oh no. Oh no. How will they survive? Oh. Nvidia's RTX 50 series reveal and launch weren't perfect. You, you could say that. That's a, that's a safe way to say it. Obfuscating charts, non-existent supply at launch, followed by disappointing performance and unresolved connector concerns. However, it seems that at least the supply aspect of these issues is expected to improve. Renowned leaker. This guy's leaking all over the place. Mega size GPU. Feel like that. <laughs> Reports stupidly high 5090 supply arriving in just one month. That's around the corner. Apparently the demand for data center GB200 chips fell short of Nvidia's projections. Uh oh, they love their data center side of the business. That's not good. The source claims that Nvidia's partners, which includes MSI, Zotac, Gigabyte, all of those bad boys will get tons of GB202 chips. It's reported that the new supply stream should improve on shelf inventory within around a month, accounting for shipping and manufacturing. If it's true, then production is more of a necessity than a choice for Nvidia because they're repurposing these cards, right? These Blackwell data center B200 cards. They're not selling as well as NVIDIA predicted. There's a lot going into this, boys and girls, but bottom line, we're praying for increased 5090 and 5080 uh, production as well, 50 series overall, so that we can get those on the shelves and into the hands and PCs of gamers everywhere. What else we can get on the uh, shelves very soon? What's on the shelves? AMD cards, mm -hmm. just a couple weeks away from the launch. No kidding, now these have been sitting in warehouses since like December, so I'm excited for these to finally get out in the market, and hopefully that means supply is good. Radeon RX 9070 XT with, wah, 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 a PCIe 5.0 interface? Is this true? We gotta find out. We must. Micro Center, 
And some people are saying it's a typo. Some people are saying it's true. It's kind of up in the air. Let's read it. Okay, well, let's dig into it. The Power Color Red Devil Limited Edition is a special version that comes in different packaging, which we saw above, and my goodness, beautiful. Basically, it's a special model that you kind of see in reviews, but it's not used a whole lot by consumers because it's Too price, price time. The card is now listed on the Micro Center's site, although it has no specs beyond what we can see in the title. Confirms 16 gigs of memory, which we've heard for a while now is gonna be the case, and PCIe 5.0 specs. Sure enough, oh, and they've taken it, did they take it down? Yeah, uh, oh. I don't think it was supposed to go up. Uh, we've seen this happen in, at Amazon. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually made it all the way to the cart and hit purchase before they act, they took down the listing. My prediction with this, and my this is more my hope than prediction. Those AMD cards have been sitting in warehouses since December. They hopefully have a great supply. Nvidia supply is having issues right now. AMD launches these cards and the market goes, what? We can get graphics cards today? And the scalpers don't have all of them? Maybe we give Team Red a try. I think that's gonna start happening. Let me know if you would be into that just based on the craziness. If you're looking for a graphics card, are you considering AMD? Would you dabble with the devil? I'd dabble with the devil, especially for the price point, because I'm not gonna be able to get a 50 series card right now. I'm just not in the cards. Mm. But five, 600, 700 bucks, that I can do. Dabble with the devil. The red devil, I'm not calling AMD. Time for an ad. Guys, what about mouse mats? I sure wish I had one right here. Oh, here they are. Meta PCs, we have new mouse mats that are available on Amazon and our website when you configure a new system. I love these so much. Now the gentleman that designed this made a beautiful skin that is featured in Counter-Strike, the Hyper Beast skin, iconic. And these mouse mats reflect his beautiful design and he made this specifically for you. Right here on the front, the Meta PCs monster. And there's something beautiful about the surface of these mats. I'm hitting trick shots all day. I'm sending memes to my friends. I'm clicking Slack. I'm opening messages. I'm coloring on this thing because I have insane ADHD and this would be a beautiful surface. But the most important thing is to go to Amazon or metapcs.com to get one today, which is the exact same place you can configure a brand new PC. Go to metapcs.com, ready to ship builds, custom builds, featuring the new 50 series cards. Back to the show. I, there's nothing that gets me more excited than looking at numbers. You know me, big numbers guy. The RTX 5080 is allegedly only 17% faster than the 5070 Ti. Price is just 749 bucks, we'll see. The RTX 5070 Ti might be the most competitive 50 series GPU to date. So the demand for this actually may be very high, which we kind of anticipated. 3D Mark benchmarks featuring the upcoming RTX 5070 Ti have cropped up ahead of embargo. In fact, I think Jay's Two Cents did a video where he was like, I'm gonna break embargo real quick. <laughs> Let's check out these numbers. Here we go. Here's the benchmarks. Let's break it down. We've got the 5070 Ti and the 5080. Uh, most of these things, most of the testing and benchmarks that were done, Time Spy, Fire Strike, all the classics, 13 to let's call it 17% faster. Just depends on what you're testing it is. Pretty typical. Very interesting in terms of the difference from a 5070 Ti to a 5080. You're getting you know, anywhere from 11 to 17% of an increase by going to the 5080. And the price difference between the 5070 Ti at MSRP and the 5080 is a whole lot more than 11 to 17%. MSRP is almost, in fact, it, it's meaningless right now. Yeah. It's completely meaningless. A 5080, 999. For the 5070 Ti, we're looking at a... Let's do math. Let me conjure. My brain and the monitor over here is telling me 33%. Yeah, so you're paying 33% <laughs> right. more to get a 5080 over the 5070 Ti at MSRP, but you're only getting an 11 to 17% increase. It's a mess right now, guys. Let's just soak this in. Uh, Asus launched its RTX 5080 Prime Nano-C at MSRP, and the next week, it was increased by 26%. And the 5070 Ti right out of the gate Asus is putting it at $899 on this particular like car. have their cake and eat it too, but being able to have the early coverage by talking about uh, MSRP price, and then also get to choose to sell their card at a higher price. I'm in the wrong business. I <laughs> should have uh, created graphics cards, I guess. We're seeing uh, things like the PNY RTX 5070 Ti OC 16 gigabyte. Micro Center has it for $750 on the listing. And that is a PNY card. 
Let me, quick PNY tangent for you guys at home, okay? I know a lot of people see PNY and they go, oh, I don't want a PNY card. Do you know that NVIDIA only trusts PNY to make their workstation cards? That's the only brand. And I know it's not like sexy for gamers, but listen, if you're looking at a card that's gonna be reliable and they've been pretty transparent with pricing, I like PNY personally, hate me if you want. That ain't too bad. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Listen, it's all AMD. It's the 9800X3D. That's the, the, the king right now. They're already announcing the 9950X3D and the 9900X3D next month. It's a good year for new hardware. AMD's upcoming Ryzen 9 9950X3D and the 9900X3D processors. It's gonna mark a significant leap in GPU. I mean, excuse me. CPU technology, there's a lot of, lot, of a lot of things going on. The new flagship 16 core Ryzen 9 9950X3D will be priced at $699, while the 12 core 9900X3D is gonna be $599. Both CPUs, when? When are they coming out? March 2025. March. What else is coming out in March? Everything. <laughs> Everything from AMD, let's Everything. just go. All to, build your whole AMD rig in March. March is AMD's month. That is their month. Lisa has been, she's been cooking out there. Whether you're a gamer, content creator, or someone seeking top performance, these processors provide an attractive option, gaming and content creation. This is like an all-in-one powerhouse of a processor. We're looking at 20% faster gaming performance. That's huge. Over the 9800. That's huge. All So over a 9800, which is already, like if you went and got a 9800 right now, it'd be like, great job, you picked a great, 20% Faster. Are you thinking of getting these new AMD processors and potentially uh, AMD GPU? What are we thinking about AMD? Is March your month? Guys, that's gonna do it for the news today here at Meta PCs. You know, there's a lot of changes happening around here. We have things changing right before our very eyes, but you know what's not gonna change? The quality of content on this channel. It's just top tier stuff. So make sure you subscribe, like, Leave a comment below and say hello to myself and Phil. Can we get some hey Phil's in the comments? Guys, uh, anything we should add to the set here? We're kind of redoing things. Looking for some ideas. Let me know. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. MetaPCs.com.